All right, here we are at the Willoway Docks. Uh, Danny is not in today to, to do the video, but I'll get you through the docks. Um, let's start right here with uh, Japanese maples. These are the blood goods. Um, you can see they have that really nice maroon color right now. These are seven gallon. Um, really nice looking few pallets that we have here. And uh, if you scoot over just a little bit, we have the Japanese maple. These are the garnets, uh, seven gallon as well. And garnets are very cool. You can see these things just have that really nice feathery foliage and um, all have that unique branching showing really nice color as well. And uh, let me just go down the line just a little bit more here. And you have some viburnums, fragrant viburnums. It's been a little while. We got some available. And uh, you know what? They look fantastic. This is the Carlesii, three gallon. Keep those in mind. Um, I think we should still have plenty of them on there. Uh, here we are at Magnolia. And I couldn't pass this one up. You know, we're past the flower, of course. But this is still a really nice looking plant. Look how full those are. Nice clean foliage on those. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this is the seven gallon and uh, Magnolia Ann it's uh, it's just a great plant uh, people looking for Jane's uh, we don't have them right now but Ann is a perfect sub for that and uh, you know it's pretty much a standard too these these, these are great magnolias nice and hardy um, just take a look right here you can't go wrong with our selection take a look here at the quick fire uh, this is the tree form in a seven gallon um, I think limelight's a little more of a standard, but you know what? These things are very nice. Has that nice uh, pinkish uh, tones to it rather than the, the lime green. And you can see really nice bud set on there. Lots of flowers starting to pop. Uh, this thing's going to be giving you a whole lot of color real soon. And you know what? Let's go right next to it here. Looking at uh, Endless Summer in a 7-gallon. I love our 7-gallon hydrangeas, uh, especially our, our macrophils. They're just really, really nice. And uh, just take a look at that one there. Endless summer, seven gallon. All right, take a look at this order here. This one's really nice, right in the middle. Can't miss them. You're looking at 25 gallon, inch and three quarter. Um, Prunus snowfizam, the snow fountain, the white uh, flowering cherry. And you can see, you know, obviously we're past that, that bloom point, but nice, full, clean foliage is gonna give you a really nice umbrella look to it. And uh, to your left there, you're looking at a seven gallon Tamukiyama. And to your right, right there, you're looking at 10 gallon Tamukiyama. And uh, those things look really great now, right now. Look how full those are. And uh, I like them a whole lot because they are a little bit lower branching. Gives you a nice, uh, nice options uh, when you get the trees because they're all so unique and so different, um, which is what really those Japanese maples are all about. You know, right behind it there, take a look too. Don't want to miss those. You're looking at a three gallon bloomerang, dark purple, nice and full. Um, those things are probably a good 18, 24 inches tall. Uh, good looking plant. Here's a really nice palette of uh, perennials. On the right there, you're looking at Simis Fuga. That's the queen of Sheba. And hiding underneath there, that yellow guy is the Aurelia Sun King. Uh, that's a very cool plant for the shade. And just look at that color that will pop out of that shade. Aurelia Sun King and um, the always fun flaming carpet see them look at all those varieties in there showing a whole bunch of different color and right next to it for pollinator month you're looking at asclepius uh, tuberosa and check out the color on those things i'm loving them right now that orange just really really stands out there's some uh fine line buckthorn really nice three gallon uh this is just a great plant you know stays upright stays narrow and um, you know what, it's just really hardy and it's really versatile as well. It can take a little bit of little bit of shade and it's just a really great plant. You can throw those things in a container. You could uh, throw them outside, line them up, make a nice little hedge. Many things you could do with it. Ram this, fine line. Here's one of our newer hydrangeas. This is the Invincible Mini Mauvette. This little guy's fun. Take a look at that color, really nice right now. Lots of good bud, uh, nice buds back there going to get a whole lot of color and um, it's just a fun little aborescence. Invincible Mini Mauvette. Okay, take a look at these Echinacea. Um, right there at the bright red, man, that is just some awesome color. That is the Kismet Red. And right next to it, you're looking at Pow Wow White. Lots of buds on the Pow Wow White there. Um, those things are just really getting ready to pop. And uh, actually lots of buds out there too on the Kismet Red. Let's go back a little bit. Right behind it is a nice palette of the Hikuru Nishiki, seven gallon on standard. Uh, those things look fantastic right now. Nice and full. Huge heads on those. 
and uh, showing that nice color as well. Take a look at this. There's this uh, Ruby Falls right there. It has that really nice color that will last you all season long. Um, that's a really good looking plant, I have to say. That's in a seven gallon. Um, it's got to be at least, I would say, five and a half, six feet, six and a half feet tall. Um, right next to it is a nice looking pallet. You're looking at uh, the Wygela Tuxedo. This is a very cool one. It has that nice darker foliage to it, um, but still enough hints of green in it to not confuse it with uh, something like a spilled wine or wine and roses. But what I really like about it, it has those white flowers which really stand out um, against that foliage. Right next to that, you're looking at our Canisiparous Mops. Those are always looking real good. I think that's a two gallon container underneath there. Um, looking real nice. And look at the bud set right there. Uh, you're looking at Hydrangea, Strawberry Sunday. Lots and lots of buds on that thing. Really good looking plant. That's going to really be uh, a nice showy plant real soon here. Here's some more color for you. You're looking at the Taxis. Uh, bright gold that thing's really neat uh, unique for Texas and that color really really holds nice bright yellow nice hints of green underneath um, It's just a really nice looking plant and right next to it. You're looking at our holly uh, That's the Willamer uh, Different texture a little bit uh, smaller leaves still has those little points to it, but it's just a really neat plant uh, I'm sorry Ilex Willamer and behind there you're looking at one of our grasses. That's the ever popular uh, variegatus in a three gallon. Nice looking crop. All right, there are, is our hydrangea tree. Uh, this is the vanilla strawberry in a seven gallon. Nice looking crop. Uh, I see some small buds up there, so it won't be too long before you get a really nice bud set and some color starting to show. Right underneath it, you're looking at Phlox uh, Bambini Desire. And um, look at the color over here. You got some uh, Rainforest Sunrise Pasta, which is uh, very cool. I really like the color on that foliage. And right next to that, you're looking at Whoops a Daisy, Leucanthemum, and uh, some more color right behind there. I mean, look at all the color out here on the perennials. On the right, you got Paint the Town Magenta Dianthus, and right next to that, uh, you're looking at Paint the Town Fuchsia, and then some more Desire um, Phlox, and right next to that, the Candy Crush with that fun uh, white and pink flower. Oh, not to be left out. I just found over the top here. You're looking at some um, Patriot hostas. You can't go wrong with that. That's a really nice standard and uh, we got plenty of them. Okay, here we are at Sedum. This is Plum Dazzled. Uh, this is a fun one. Take a look at the color of that foliage. That's where it gets its plum name from. Uh, this guy will get about a foot and a half. Has really nice raspberry colored flowers later on in the in the summer. Um, really nice plant though, unique color, and uh, just a nice upright sedum if you want something a little bit different with a little bit different color. Um, you know, I didn't mention too, uh, the flowers on this thing are really long lasting as well. So, you know, this, this is just an all season plant because of the color of foliage and because of the long lasting flower. Sedum, plum dazzled. There you have the sedum Little Miss Sunshine. Uh, that's a nice look at this uh, ground cover here. Really nice, um, true green foliage, and you can see the yellow flowers starting to pop out. Uh, lots of buds out there too, so it's going to be covered in a uh, little Miss Sunshines all over the place. This is a really neat little sedum ground cover. I like this one a lot. Um, take a look, talk to your rep, and uh, bring some in. Little Miss Sunshine. Okay, here we are at Gypsophilia Festival Star. This is a proven winner. Really nice looking plants here. You can see all the white out there. These things are almost in full bloom. I guess not quite full bloom yet. There's still some buds out there to bring you some more color, but um, you're looking at Gypsophilia, Festival Star. Great looking crop. Look all the way down the line here. Okay, here we are at Geranium Espresso. Uh, take a look at this crop here. I know you're probably thinking this is uh, uh, more of a spring crop has that really nice pink flower in the spring, but um, you know what? The flower may be done, but the foliage is not. It's a great looking plant uh, all season long. has that really nice bronze, um, I don't know, maroonish colored foliage to it. And that'll last you all season. Really good looking crop. You don't need the flower to have a nice plant. And uh, just take a look at it here. Again, you're looking at Geranium Espresso. 
All right, take a look at that. That is Lobelia black truffle. And uh, take a look at this crop that I have right here. It has that very cool foliage. Look at that color. Um, that'll last you all season long. You get that really nice uh, red flower that's known for the cardinal flower. And this is just a great plant. Um, that flower is going to bring in hummingbirds. It's going to bring in butterflies. And it's just going to bring you a whole lot of color too. It's a really nice showy plant. Lobelia black truffle. All right, look at that guy right there. That's the Fragaria Tristan, um, the strawberry. Very cool, these things are all blooming right now. I still see lots of buds out there. And um, you know, I think I see a couple of strawberries here and there too. So they're doing their thing. And look at this crop all the way down. Uh, it's a really good looking crop actually um, of our Fragaria. And uh, you know, I think it's been a little while since we got to see these things, but now's a great time to bring them in. They look fantastic. Talk to your rep, Fragaria. Tristan. Okay, here we are at Daylily. You're looking at the Never Ending Series. This is the Cherries Jubilee. And um, take a look at this crop. I see uh, scapes popping up everywhere, buds on top of those everywhere, and a good number of flowers already. Um, starting to show that really neat color, too, as you can see. Uh, it's a really nice looking crop, nice and full. And uh, you're going to be getting a whole lot of color out of these real soon here. And being part of that Never Ending Series, these things are going to bloom for you um, throughout the whole season. So uh, bring them on in. Uh, you're looking at Daylily, never ending Cherries Jubilee. And here's another Daylily for you, another never ending series. This is Strawberry Swirl. And you can see this has um, quite a few more flowers on it, and the buds are a little further along. Uh, it's still, though, a good looking crop, just like um, the Cherries Jubilee we were just looking at nice full cans here and these ones are a little bit taller too uh, really good looking crop lots of color to come and again being part of that never ending series a nice long bloom time daylily strawberry swirl so here we're looking at a hosta this is of course the patriot um, kind of appropriate for the holiday week coming up here and uh, you can see that we have a lot of them this is an old standard but it's really reliable and that's why everybody loves it and that's why we have so many of them so we can get them out to you guys as you can see some of these things are starting to bud um, not too many yet but still you got that really nice uh, variegated foliage to it so it's still a really good looking plant again you're looking at Hasta Patriot all right look at that you're looking at Hasta Hush Puppies uh, that's a really nice looking plant you have right there and just take a look at this crop that we have with them all the way down really consistent and look at all those flowers that are just starting to pop has that really nice variegated foliage and uh, this one's a really nice plant really keeps its shape um, smallish and uh, just a great plant to have um, hosta hush puppies you can't go wrong with this guy here we are at nepeta that's the flower right there of walker's low uh, just starting to pop and I thought I'd get a nice close view of it because it's kind of hard to see in the sun here But there are lots and lots of uh, buds out there. This thing is really going to show you some color here real real soon And um, you know, it's just going to stand above that really neat uh, Nepeta silvery foliage. These are nice and uh, more than can full just a nice full plant and uh, it just looks great on its own and then you got the bonus of those flowers and buds about to pop up here. So Nepeta, Walker's Low, keep that one in mind. Okay, here we are at the Red Baron or Japanese Bloodgrass and take a look at this house. Uh, it's just loaded with color. You can see all the red throughout there uh, mixed in with that nice light green underneath. It's just a great plant. Um, these things are looking fantastic right now and you can see the consistency throughout um, Again, you're looking at the grass red barren or the Japanese blood grass Okay, take a look at this pulmonaria. Uh, this is high contrast. This is a really cool plant probably one of my favorites um, I always thought this was a really neat alternative to hosta if you wanted something a little bit different But sort of similar texture you take a look at this one pulmonaria high contrast um, it has really cool flowers too uh, that start off pink and kind of fade off into a nice blue 
and both of those colors just look really awesome um, above this foliage. You can see it has that nice white kind of splotches in the center of those green leaves and uh, it's just a really neat plant. Pulmonaria, high contrast.